Yeah, I, I, I'm from Shit Ontario. I moved out here when I was about five, and then I went back to Ontario in 95. Almost. And I stayed yep. there for about six years. And the difference between there and here, like it's so moist down there. Like it's so, so humid. You know, you have a shower, get dried off, get dressed, you walk outside, it feels like you just had a shower again. Yeah. You know, just let it burn and see how long it goes for. Doing bushcrafting down there. You really You'll see. And you'll see that little tiny flame is going to go for quite a while because that's where all the sap is. And that's all you need? Yeah, and that will keep it burning for a long time. That's an accelerant for you. You got sap on yours? Yeah. I'm pulling it There we go. I mean, make me look a little better. A little bit in there. Okay. Then you're gonna have piece top and bottom mm -hmm. okay. sandwiching your, your rock there. Right. You gotta say a prayer to the fire spirit. Oh, fire spirits! Oh, fire spirits! Oh, fire Don't spirits. let me down. Oh, on, fire spirit. <laughs> All right, ready with more. And then just stay away from that bundle. And you can even stand up and just get into a comfortable position because as soon as that's glowing, it's it's not going to go out. That's the catchy bit, trying to hold it and figure out. <laughs> yeah, trying to keep this away from the edge. I think this is... Yeah. Quite, quite often what I'll do is I hold it. See that knuckle? Yeah. I sandwich it like that. Okay. That's how I get these gloves. <laughs> If yeah, those gloves don't work, I'll give you the, the smaller ones. It just takes a lot of practice. This is the, all the fire. I can't get this That's one. Go for it. Go for it when it looks good. Alright. So if you know you've got a good steel, <laughs> you just turn to walk around, you know, anywhere there's a bunch of rocks and stuff like that, you start picking them up, any sharp edge. I need to hold this a little bit closer. I use a knife okay. The knife slips, you have a chance of cutting your fingers. Yeah, let's try that. <laughs> you felt hot. I thought you had it. Then. So, this is a good rock, and I can't do it. It's a wrong thing. Let's see. So, when you're doing this, let's try this again. Oh, yeah, this glove feels a lot better. Cool. Once you get the angle, you get a little bit harder, and you get a spark. You get a spark, you basically have to really angle. Otherwise, all you want to do is just roll this just ever so slightly. You're basically using this to shave the charred cloth. Right? You don't need to charred cloth if you're terrible. Oh, yes. there we go. There we go. See, and that and that's a good example. It was it was the yeah. poor charred cloth. Got it, guys. Oh. Okay, other glove, other glove. Finally. And there's no rush here at all. It'll just. And so you just pull it. Pull, pull that. Pull around the sides there and just envelop around. That's good. That's all you need. And now you can blow in it. And you've got to throw it onto the fire onto your right. So bring it close to you, a little bit closer. Blow and then and then kind of push it up into the air again, as though you're praying to the to the fire gods. I'm praying to the fire gods. You right. see no, we'll smoke rock. coming and soon. Shit. <laughs> there so goes the smoke. We were training with moors and stuff like that. We have to make Bye. Bye. Woo! 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 <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah.